Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we are going to see about the two process solution of process synchronization. As in the previous video, we have seen about the concept of critical section problem. And in that critical section problem, we have seen that every process which needs to access or enter into the critical section has to fulfill the condition in the entry section. That is the entry section provide logs to a process to enter the critical section. And also we have seen the solution criteria and in that video I have told you that mutual exclusion and progress should be the mandatory criteria whereas bounded wedding is the optional criteria. Now we will see some of the solutions proposed by authors in the past and in this video we are going to see the three solutions of the two process solution problem. So now let's start with the solutions and one by one we will see the code of the solution and then we will try to analyze the solution itself. So the first solution, in the first solution a variable named turn is used, a variable named turn is used and for example or uh, for the simplification initially I am uh, making the value of turn is equals to 0. Now when turn is equals to 0 it means process P0 can access the critical section. So now let's see the code. Now in this while uh, while loop the process is checking whether it is allowed to enter into the critical section or not. And the criteria for uh, uh, entering into the critical section is if the turn is not equals to 0. So while turn is not equals to 0. It means if the value of turn is not equals to 0 then the trap will occur and process P0 will not be allowed to enter into the critical section. Then below it is a critical section. Here it is the critical section. And in the exit section the process P0 will make the value of turn is equals to 1. Which means now process P1 can enter into its critical section. So here it is the remainder section. Here it is the remainder section and that's it. So it means initially when the value of turn is equals to 0, process P0 enters into the critical section because this condition is used to uh, verify whether the process is allowed to enter into the critical section or not. Now the process, uh, the value of turn is equals to 0. So this value is not true. So the trap will not occur. Here it is a semicolon. It means this is, this is, this is nothing but the trap. Okay. Now the value of turn is equals to 0. So that trap will not occur and the process will be allowed to enter into the critical section. And once the well, uh, process completes its critical section work, the value of turn is 1. So now we will see the code for P1. Similarly here also the code is like this while 1. Now what will be the condition here? While turn is not equals to 1. Then the trap. So here it is also the trap. Then the critical section. And in the exit section it will make the value of turn is equals to 0. And then we have the remainder section. So this is the first solution in which the, val in which the variable turn is used. But the problem with this uh, solution is that each process is each process is giving turn to the next one. So the concept of mutual exclusion is fulfilled here. That only one process is allowed to enter into the critical section at a given point of time. But the concept of progress is not fulfilled. So this is not one of the best solutions. So in this you can write that each process each process is giving turn to the next one. So progress criteria is not fulfilled. So progress criteria is not 
fulfilled in this so in this you can mark this as in the red boundary the trap section this is the trap section so this is the first solution and now we will see the second solution the second solution uh, uses the concept of flag and initially the flags of both the processes are set to false basically it is a boolean type of variable it is a boolean type of variable and initially the value of both flag 0 and flag 1 is false that means no process is no process wants to enter into the critical section initially now see what happens here suppose process p0 wants to enter into the critical section so the code for that can be like this while one now process wants to enter into the critical section at that point the process will make its flag true so flag 0 is equals to true it means now the process p0 is interested in enter into the critical section now we will check for the entry point that is flag while while flag 1 simply the meaning of this statement is if flag 1 is equals to true then do nothing or the trap will occur so in this you can uh, write it like this if flag 1 is equals to true then do nothing at that point you have to do simply nothing that is a trap so now flag 0 is true and flag 1 is false initially so this condition is not fulfilled the process p0 is allowed to enter into the critical section so that here it is a critical section and in the end exit section the flag of 0 will be make as again false so now the flag 0 is false and flag 1 is also false both are false now p1 wants to enter into the critical section so the code can be like this while 1 now p1 wants to enter so it makes its flag as true so flag 1 is equals to true and the condition that needs to be checked is while flag 0 it means if the flag of 0 process is also true then do nothing but since it is false then it is allowed to enter the, into the critical section and in the exit section again flag 1 is equals to false so this is the true process solution which is uh, which is proposed by the uh, authors in this the progress is happening because each process is not forced to enter into the critical section which is happening here in this if the process wants to enter into a critical section it makes its own flag as true but the problem that is present in this solution is there may be a chance of deadlock in this solution that the problem of deadlock can occur so in this you can write deadlock can occur if flag 0 is equals to flag 1 is equals to true if the flags of both the processes are true then both the processes will be trapped in their entry section and there will be a deadlock situation so in this way this solution is also not one of the best solution for two process problem now we will see the third solution which is also known as the Peterson solution and in this solution the concept of both turn and flag is used so you can uh, name it as the hybrid of solution 1 and solution 2 so in this both turn and flags are used suppose p0 wants to enter into the critical section so the code for process p0 is while 1 now we will use the best part of this which is flag 0 is equals to true
then it is making the turn is equals to 1 which is happening here also so we have used the concept of this and this so now flag 1 is true and turn is equals to 1 now the condition that is the entry point condition is while turn is equals to equals to 1 which is true and flag of 1 is equals to equals to true if both the variables are true in this entry section then the trap will occur so this is the this is the trap condition this is your trap condition and initially the value of both the flags is false and the turn is 1 or 0 for example so now this is not satisfied <clears throat> so it is allowed to enter into critical section so it is critical section and when it is exiting the critical section it will make its flag as false so flag 0 is now false then process p1 wants to enter so it will write it like this while 1 and it will make its own flag true so flag 1 is now true and it will make the turn variable 0 so now it is saying that okay i am want i want to enter into the critical section but i am also try, uh, also giving the chance to process p0 to enter into the critical section if the flag of process p0 is also true then i will <laughs> wait so the condition is like this while turn is equals to equals to 0 and flag of 0 is equals to equals to true so if the flag of 0th process is true and the turn is 0 then the process p1 will wait but now since the flag of 0 is false so the process p1 will enter into the critical section and in the exit again it will make its flag as false so this is the um, Peterson solution and it is considered as the best solution for to process problem thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my youtube channel for more tutorials on operating system and other computer science related subjects thank you